When it comes to viewing your document windows or these objects here, for example, when I double click on the books table, I get the tab, double click on the customers table, you can see when I open up all these objects, they uh, open up with these tabs. So I can easily see what's open and click on it to bounce from one to the next. That's one way. You have two other options. Let me go ahead and close out of these here. To change these options or to find out about these options, click on the file tab, go down to options, Go ahead and choose the current database and come down here where it says Document Window Options. You have Overlapping Windows, Tab Documents, and Display Document Tabs. First of all, the Overlapping Windows. This is the only setting that will allow you to position the open window around. In other words, with the tab, I couldn't position it because they're tabbed one on top of another. So let's see what this one looks like. Overlapping Windows, click OK. Now, in order for this to take effect, I have to close out of the database and reopen it. So I click OK, File. To close the database, and because it was the database I just recently had open, it's going to be listed in my top four recent databases and the top one books, so I can click on that, open it back up. So when I double click and open it, it shouldn't have the tab because this is going to be the overlapping windows. When I double click, no tab. Double click again. What happened to the books? Is it still there? It is, but the uh, customers tab is overlapping it. So if I click and drag the uh, window header bar here, you can see that one's overlapping another. So I can click on that to bring it forward and, oh, how do I get to the other one? Well, another thing has changed when you choose this option is on the Home tab, there's a Windows group that's been added when you choose the Overlapping Windows option because Access knows that it's going to be hard to click and drag to get from one to the next. Instead, just go to the Windows group and say you want to switch between the books or switch and bring the uh, customer's table to the top or to the front. Now you could look at this and say, well, that's annoying. Why would I want to do that? Well, I don't. When I'm designing my database, I like the tabs. I don't like to play back and forth and coming up here and wasting extra clicks by going to the window group and switching between the windows. But when I'm done designing the database, I remove the tabs. I just have objects that open up without tabs. So I don't have the users bouncing around, but I can control where they go. But for right now, know that you have those three options. Here's the first one. Let me go ahead and uh, close out of the tables here. Go to File, again back to Options, Current Database. Then we have Tab Documents. You can have Tab Documents, but don't display the document tabs. So unlike overlapping windows, this setting stacks the windows, and they cannot be moved around. In overlapping, we can move them around. You know, I clicked and dragged it. This one, you can't move them around. So if I select Tab Documents, but don't display the tabs, click OK. Again, it tells me I have to close out, so I click OK. Let me file to close the database, not the program. And again, I can go ahead and click on the link here. It opens it back up. Double click to open it up, and there you go. I don't have any overlapping windows. I can double click on customers. I now have two of the tables open, but I can't. Where's the option to restore it and move it around? I mean, if I click on this to restore it, it does the whole program, not just the uh, object that I have open or this table, the customer's table. Let me go ahead and maximize that. So the way around this is you can add to the quick access toolbar the switch window command. So I can go ahead and right click, go down to customize the quick access toolbar, go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and choose all commands. And let's go ahead and scroll down. There it is, switch windows. Double click on it and let me go ahead and select it and arrow it down. Click OK. So I can switch between books and customers. I can't move the windows around, I can only switch between the two. So really having the windows without that little check box below it saying go ahead and show the tabs, I either have to double click on each of these objects to bring it to the front or add the uh, switch between windows command to the quick access toolbar because on the home tab the windows group isn't there is it? It's only available if you choose the overlapping windows feature, not the tab documents. So there's the second option and then the third option which I originally had it as was, let me go to File, Options, back up to Current Database, and there we go. It was Tab Documents, but also displaying the tabs of those documents. Then click OK. Of course, I have to close out, File, Close Database, and then go ahead and click on the link to reopen it or click on Open. And it takes me right to my Exercises folder. There's the books, double click. Let's open up a table, double click. And there we go, we have tabs, double click. See, that's so much easier for me as a designer when I'm quickly testing out my tables and making sure they work when I enter in a record. It's got the settings just right. So choose which one works best for you. For me as a designer, I like the tab documents.
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.